Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Alexandrian Archives. My name is Mila, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you for sticking around. Today's video is books on my shelves that intimidate me and these scare me. They scare me either because of the length of them, how big they are, or because um, you know, they're probably like the end of a series and I'm just like, I don't want this to end. So I have moved to a new location. I think the previous video also had this location. I'm not too sure, but, uh, I don't remember. I don't know. I don't, uh, what order am I? I don't know. Anyways, um, film, filming from a new location because the sun is very, very bright and I can like move backwards and I won't be attacked by the sun. Whereas, um, by my bookshelf, it's just phew, very bright and I don't like having the curtains closed because it doesn't really look nice on camera. So yes, this is a print from Astra and Celine, they're a small business, and this is a print from Dollarama. <laughs> That's what we do here. So books that intimidate me, I saw this type of video from Elliot or L. Elliot Brooks, who is my favorite booktuber. She's one of the reasons I started a booktube channel and I decided to write down some books that I am very, very intimidated by and very scared to read. First one is Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson. The reason I technically read 50% of it, I just, man, I was so, I don't want to say I was bored throughout the whole thing. But I'm definitely one of those people that when Shalon came up as a chapter, <laughs> I was like, ugh, I don't want to. I was like, ugh, I don't want to read her. I wanted to read Kaladin or Dalinar or any of the other characters. I will probably have to reread The Wave Kings and The Words of Radiance before I continue Oathbringer. But yeah, I'm a little bit scared, a little bit intimidated. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah! I'm scared. Next one is... Alright. The next book that I am terrified to read, this book intimidates me. I am absolutely terrified. If I don't read it, nothing's happened, right? Like, I, I, they're all alive, right? The Burning God by Arf Kwan. And I love her. I love this woman. I think she's a genius. I... Uh, uh, terrified i am terrified okay spoilers for the poppy war trilogy i know that kite dies i know that he dies i know that rin dies i know that son of a gun neza ne neza neza lives okay i am so bad i need kite back i need rin back i was mad about alton at the beginning okay i need those two to not die that's why i haven't finished the burning god um, the next one is the Greenbone Saga, Jade War and Jade Legacy. I read Jade City. I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with these characters. I'm terrified. I also don't own a copy of Jade Legacy, so if anyone wants to buy me one. But... <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want to leave this char these characters. I, I should get to it. Sure not. <laughs> A Reaper at the Gates by Sabatahir. As you can tell, there's a common theme here. I don't want to leave these characters. I don't want the story to end. Yes, I can reread it, but the first time hits, okay, in a myriad of ways that the next times don't hit. So I am scared because apparently there's a twist in um, the last book. Oh my god, what's the last book called? Uh, I forget what the last book's called, but you know what I mean, right? Apparently there's a twist and I'm scared. Very scared. Um, and then, next one is the Devabad trilogy. I loved book one, and again, I'm just... Yeah, this is mainly not the size of the book. This is mainly just finishing the book that scares me. Um, like I read prior to the orange tree. I read way of kings. I read words of radiance It's just finishing the series that scares me and 
yeah and then the last one is more lengthwise rather than finishing it it's war and peace by leo tolstoy by you know tolstoy i'm intimidated by it because of its size because of its length because of its history because of the just the you know it's such a staple classic and what kind of russian are you if you haven't read the book or anna karenina so i'm scared <laughs> i'm 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 a little intimidated just just a little a little you know just a little but yeah i do have a very specific uh, i think it's the oxford classic translation which you saw emma from emmy reads uh read she's also one of my favorite booktubers she's canadian i'm canadian so i had to i was like i need to read this now because she read it and i have it on my shelf and it's just staring at me and it's on my like tbr shelf i'm scared i'm genuinely terrified so yeah that's it for this very very short video <laughs> um which yeah uh, let me know what you think in the comments below uh like comment subscribe and um let me know if these are worth being scared of or you know i have to bite the bullet and uh read them so yeah that's that's it for this video <laughs> hope you enjoyed it follow me on all my socials and i will see you in the next one Happy reading!